to a new episode of The French Conquered the World! And we are here with some, like, good news and some bad news. So, let's start with the good news. The good news is, last episode, we as France took our rightful claim of Ethiopia. And, you know, actually, let's just, just move through the entire, like, Egyptian land to get back to where we Like, yeah, we don't even need to, like, go back. So, it was a nice, great conquest, and it showed off our, it, it, our French strength, which has not diminished throughout this entire episode, despite, this, despite some French citizens thinking so, so, that's good. Um, now let's get some bad news. Some bad news is the French, not the French, but the U.S. Civil War started, and the, it looks like the USA might just, like, pull out of this. And I'm going to clarify this. It's not that I'm advocating for the CSA and for what they did. What they did was wrong, and it was, you know, stupid and kind of blunderous for them to try to succeed from the Union. But it would really have helped us if, you know, America would remain divided for at least a little bit longer so that the diplomatic and industrial power doesn't, like, grow to extended levels. But, I don't know. I, I guess it's on a good, I guess on a semi-good basis, it's just good so that they'll be able to conquer the rest of um, Mexico and the rest of the United Oregon, Iowa territory. So, there's some good, there's some of the bad news. Some other bad news, which I never saw this one coming, and I'm going to apologize off the bat. This is my second time recording today, and the first time I recorded was because... There's a glitch. What? What do I mean by a glitch? Well, see, this is... So, I'm going to give you guys a little tale. A long time ago, in like two episodes ago, I declared that the Jacobson Rebels are dead, and that we would never, ever, ever have to deal with them, and that our empire would live happily ever after. Well, unbeknownst to me, we have 3.2 militancy right now, which is not good to those of you who don't know. 3.2, you should only have an average of like 0.9, or like 0.3, so this is really bad. And then you should only have a consciousness of like 3. So the more it keeps increasing, the more we are kind of dead. Like, literally, we are dead. And I did not realize it was this high, and I did not realize that the Jacobsons, where are the Jacobsons? Because I know they're here. There they are. They have 226 brigades ready and willing to serve their as they would call it, just cause. And next time I'm really gonna have to like look into all these like revolutionary movements because they kinda mess me over. So <sighs> the Jacobsons are back, but that's not the bug I'm talking about. The bug I'm talking about is is that the Jacobsons, you know, spawned their big gigantic army, you know, I was like freaking out and like saying, How could this have happened? These guys should not be alive and not to be the main power of everything, yada yada yada. Um and I actually, just before this, it was kind of funny, because I just decreased militaristic spending to, like, near zero. So, a lot of my armies were getting destroyed when they spawned. And I was like, no, 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 get back into it, please. But, uh, what happened was, is that they took Paris without apparently much of a fight, which I'm going to correct right now. And, in, I mean, less than three months, my entire government, I mean, they, did, they held Paris for about three months, okay? And if you guys don't know... What happens usually in these kind of evolutions is you need to hold the main capital of your whatever revolution you're setting off. Well, the rebels need to hold the capital for one year, okay? And it had only been about three months. I think it was even less than that because they had to, they took about three months, about one month conquering it. And they spawned in about October 2nd. So they probably took it over about November. I got my capital back in December, okay? So it'd been, it'd been about a month. At the very most, okay, I'll give it the very most two months, okay? Two months. And they should not have logically done anything. Well, anyways, they despawned, and, you know, I'm like, oh, good, great, they finally gone. Well, guess what happens? I look inside my diplomacy screen, and all my spheres of influence are gone. Like, literally all gone. Every single country that I'd worked hard to, to, like, sphere and to, like, conquer and to make my own were all gone. Which... I don't know why it happened, but it should not be implemented. Because I can understand if the rebels had conquered your, like, place and, you know, installed a different ruler and stuff. 
Oh, that's the other thing. They didn't change anything about my policies at all. Like, I had the same government, I had the same exact reforms, I had everything exactly the same. The only thing that was different was the, uh, I don't want to give, uh, I don't want to give universal suffrage, but these people will, these, uh, you know what? I will be remain calm as a ruler and just swiftly and quickly to diffuse the situation and act this. So that I don't have to deal with that many conservatives. Anyways, they basically did nothing and somehow I lost all my spheres of influence and I think I lost a couple of prestige points. Which completely aggravated me and was like, that makes no sense. So, you know, after careful deliberation, I decided that that is, I, I don't know about you guys, but if that was the actual game mechanic, it makes no sense. I mean, you logically, if, if there's a revolution going on, you should give them more than just two months to stop it. I mean, I don't know. I think it was a glitch, and I get you guys can't, I bet you guys can't see where I'm coming from. And I think I explained it pretty well why this doesn't seem fair for any casual gamer. Especially if you didn't know about the rebellion until like, <laughs> like right when it happens. I, I was kind—I guess I was kind of ignorant of what happens in my own country, but whatever. So, yeah, that's what happened there, and it kind of threw me off for a little bit. Episode, so you know, yeah. I hope the militancy will now drop now that universal suffrage is now enacted. Yeah, the universal—the universal suffrage stops some of the rebels. I'm guessing the Jacobsons are still gonna gain like lots of stuff. And oh my goodness, how did I crash the middle market? That was not my intent. How did that happen? Oh, wait, now we're getting back. No, now, okay. Now I think the mill market's re-collapsing. I'm gonna get back to 40%. Okay, and there's one more thing. Ooh, there's one more thing I have to do. Um, just in case that the Jacobson somehow do do the exact same thing again, what I want to do is um, enact two reforms, so two decisions I can do, which is the Legion Entrenage, which, unless you guys don't know, this is, this, this will explain it right here. Known as in English as the Foreign Legion is a military unit of the French army with a unique distinction in that it accepts its recruits regardless of the national and personal backgrounds. While originally established as early as 1830, the Legion did not win the lasting legacy it enjoys until today it has seen action during, among others, the Spanish Cardless Wars, the French Intervention in Mexico, and the Battle of Cameroon, and the Franco-Prussian War. I think that's also what it says. Um, wait, there's more of it. The Franco-Prussian War, and in fact, almost every event involving France up until and through the modern era. The image of the young man pops on the run from some personal tragedy, oppression, debt, or criminal past, who joins the French, French Foreign Legion to serve a tour of personal redemption in the deserts of French Algeria, has since become one of the most iconic and enduring images of the 19th century. Promote the Legion and see recruits flock to our banners. Alright, just a little bit more of a backstory. The French legions were basically the expendables of the army. They were the guys that you sent in that were just come from different pasts and different backgrounds that they basically gave up their soul because they knew they were never coming back. They knew they were never coming back to regular life. And in fact, the first French legions were actually, sol were actually criminals that they just recruited because I needed more soldiers in the army for, I think, one of the, I think for the Franco-Prussian War. Uh, don't quote me on this. It was one of the wars I needed a lot of soldiers. So, when you go into the army, you're basically expected that you will die for the army. That's your only real goal. And you will, and you will instantly know that you're going to be in the most rigorous training set, rigorous training, like, exercise in all of Europe, and it will be hell for you. So. There's a little bit about the French Foreign Legion, and I enact it and get a lot of prestige and attraction. Yay! Okay, next thing is, remember that event I said I would get and conquer Madagascar and I would dethrone, like, the monarchy? That's the event. So, inherit Madagascar. Yay! And the left bank, we store the academia, I don't need academics, okay. And then Lightning World. All the rest is not important. But now, everyone, we have colonially expanded to Madagascar. I am so happy of this. I mean, I was looking forward to this for a long time. Um, that's the reason why I don't have it in my plans anymore, because I knew I would get it. But anyways, continue. Uh, you know, too many safaris, or... You know, either way, we gain prestige, so I'm just going to do this. Okay. 
Anyways, so yeah, that was my, like, pre-record message or pre-record day. And right now, I got my troops ready this time for the, like, inevitable conquer if they do come. Okay, I'm gonna build five imperialist French, um, three, three of these guys and two of these guys. These guys are gonna be the guarding force of our army, our next big army. I don't know why. I just love that layout. I know people like, some people like really big layouts, like 42 stack armies like that. Um, that's not really my preference. I like big, gigantic, or small, gigantic armies. They make me feel like the most secure. Okay. Tax the pill. Tax the poor. Because the poor have no rights to my country. Uh, terrible thing to say, but it's probably the most true statement ever. Uh, okay. And we need to actually start paying off our national debt. Which, we'll start paying once we get 10% and got some new uh, briefcase, so what did I do last time? I decided I wanted to do Iron Steamers because last time I did get, yeah, you see, ah, I don't know. That that whole, like, thing just threw me off and this is Letomps, the breakthrough in Russian scientists and by his recently completed research into market structure. I think I already have that, actually. Converts. I have market regulations. I don't know if that's the same thing. Let me look at the culture. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Oh, wait, emancipation's up. Never mind, we're gonna get that. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, once those technologies come out, then you know it's good, okay? And we got Siam. Yay! And if you guys remember, I don't know if I said this, but off screen, I kind of like just started doing Siam points. And, you know, everything's been good. Okay, and when we see all my countries. Um, the only one that's not speed as I am, and I did lose, remember last episode, I did lose the two Sicilies because they became a great power, and then now they're out again. Um, I'm not trusting them to be, like, out of it. I'm not, for a while, I'm not gonna spear them, because I'm gonna wait until, ah, dang it, the UK is actually fighting me on that front. Well, UK, I'll give you a fight, you'll be able not to handle it. What, what? I don't know, that, that was really bad. That was really bad. And let's 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 go to America. Let's see how they're doing. So America seems to be America. It's doing its American thing. Um, grievous insults. Uh, gain a cut cut down causes belly. It would not be. <sighs> Whatever. We can lose some prestige. All right. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, matter. But yeah, it looks like the CSA just cannot compare to the militaristic might of the uh, United States. USA, USA. So, yeah, looks like they're just gonna fall. Shame. Would have expected them to last longer, but man. All right. And the old man and the sea, a fisherman off the St. Pierce and Maloon coast, which surprisingly this region has come up so many times. I still like. I, I thought I would forget about, it, but almost every single episode we have some kind of event always reminding me about this stupid province we have in Canada. Um, a fisherman of some, well, okay, his taller is practic- basically, do I want more fish or do I want, uh, poor militancy? Um, I wouldn't mind the militancy drop, it definitely does not help, but, fish, I want the fish! <laughs> uh, right now our militancy is dropping pretty rapidly, which is good because, let's see, how are the Jacobsons? Wow, they lost a lot of members! And it seems like they're trying to rebuild themselves, but we have safely destroyed the Jacobsons again. Which makes me feel so happy. And it seems like our new army is being built. And national tragedy, some girl died in a mine. How unfortunate she didn't get to finish her work. Okay. Go right here. We need to now... Anything else? No, I still don't want to enact the Valley of the Kings, because the infamy hit's going to kill me. And I don't think I can deal with the infamy. Okay, make sure that none of these armies are... Okay, I need this one to go right here. Yeah. Dang, I'm running on like 8 frames per second. I hope this isn't that bad for you guys. Because right now we're... I don't know why we're having like a little bit of low frames per second. But Le Tomps! Le Tomps always encourages us. Revolution in Bali! Yay! Which means the Balinese reenactionists have to feed the government forces and basically install their own crazy government. 
which means is Bali like a tiny little state which I can conquer and potentially make my own? Let's see. Uh, okay. Well, first, it's time to see if I can start spearing Siam again. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm spearing Siam, there really is no real like set reason except I just want to spear Siam. <laughs> There's really no reason. All right. I, 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 hmm. Unless I'm wrong, Bali should be somewhere around here. Wait, let me go to my... Uh, do, 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 do. All, let's go to countries by sort by name. Bali. Bali. Can we look up Bali? Bali, can we justify war? Okay, wherever Bali is, we could justify a war and try to take it over. Um, maybe off screen I'll go find Bali, but right now... I'm more focused on just our economy and how are we slowly... Okay, we can finally repay all of our debts. Yes! Good. Okay. And I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to keep the unequal quality of our taxes at this point. Because I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try to like slowly but surely improve our infrastructure. Because I know that has been one of my goals throughout this entire game, is trying to improve our infrastructure the most efficient way, but somehow I usually end up failing for reasons, for one reason or another. And the Gonkers, Artisans, and Gunsers. I was born on the French rule all my life. I dressed in the French clothes. Been taught how to spoken in the language of France. It should not surprise anyone that I'm willing to die for my country. A tradition of support for France and French rule has taken hold in one of our colonies, and seven natives have expressed support for ideas that have flowed about the colonial office for some time of sending up native military regiments to help maintain order in our colonies. My loyal subjects, you serve your country best at home! Or, a fantastic idea that we should spare no effort in implementing. Okay, so prestige, up in the middle, sent down, consciousness, okay, that's good. That's actually a good idea because, you know, if the people are willing to become your own soldiers, let them. You you basically just got a free card <laughs> for getting soldiers. I mean, it's the best situation you can ever be in, I guess, as a militaristic ruler, and we're out of money again. At least I got more of my own sector worked out. I mean, I should be as a big and gigantic imperialist in power, try to be improving Italy, uh... Belgium and all these places, but I really just don't have the time or the patience. I mean, we barely We barely make our money and Siam, I think I'm getting Siam getting somewhere with like Siamese Siamese Siam Siam There we go. We're now friendly with them and we're I think we're actually almost overshadowing Yeah, we're the British have given up in this region. So we will gain Siam as our little sphere of influence and do we still got other one? Yes, we still got our fabulous uh, Sweden sphere. Oh, the Swedish. The lovely, lovely Swedish. Who are very nice people in real life. Not not, not, not to be confused with other people, other types of Scandinavians. They're all really mean. Like, really mean. But the Scandinavians, awesome. I'm going to stop talking now. Okay. Now it's time, we almost have an emancipation, which is a good technology to own, and where are all my, like, uh, I guess this is all we could make right now of our pathetic army, and research points, we now have even more research points, which means now we can go back here and get some iron steamers, okay, and right here, we're going to, uh, go back to army, and... Implement two tanks and about two cavalry because we still need to balance this army out. We we need to like make sure everything's all good, dandy, and apparently socialism. Oh yeah, Karl's Marx was discovered. So oh yeah, how unfortunate. Karl's Marx. Uh, Karl's Marx was discovered. So now we have socialists in our mix, but we have most of our government is uh. Liberal. I don't know how that worked out, but most of our government is like liberal. Don't know how that worked out. Don't don't know. But I know this. I'm improving. So local business fails. 
support the business. You know, I'm gonna give him. I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Support the business, because usually, I, I usually that event usually helps you out. I mean, there are times when they just like completely fail and never come back, and you felt like a jerk or not a jerk, uh, idiot for investing in them. But sometimes they do come back to you and help you out in the future. So let us start like improving the infrastructure of all of our land. Let me make sure that we have all of our colonies first. <laughs> yes, our beliefs must be respected. Okay, we need Lock Rock Shell. A Rock Shell. I think it's Rock Shell. Uh, that's in the region of Ganjin. Or Ganjinage. Okay, and some capitalists invested over here. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine. I'll invest a little bit of infrastructure inside the the uh, Belginians. I mean, they they gotta like us more for this. We're spending our own tax dollar money for this. <laughs> Improving the Belgium infrastructure. I don't, I don't know why. That, that gives me such a, just like a laugh just to know that we're investing into a country. I don't know. Added a sphere. So now the like, French sphere has been moved in. We have our own, like, I guess, lookout? Lookout is the best word or something else? Something else is the best word. And at this point, I have to start thinking... Oh, Frankfurt, okay. Frankfurt is going to be like my new... Dang, I'm not connected to it, so I don't actually get any points. Um, what about Baden? Did I gain... Billadian? No, I gain like no influence from these guys, so... Yeah, seems like I can't do anything with that. I can't like gain any like little German states, which is really sad, but... Maybe I'll just have to like unsphere one of them from the people. And the Tom's revolution in the kingdom of Montenegro. A revolution, oh, that's, a uh, revolution in the Moxicanic states. Man, there's just lots of revolution. Letter from God. That could be interesting. And Ioni Island. So, let's see. Does that mean that the kingdom of Montagu is a free from, yes, this is, wow. This must seem for Portugal now because now they don't have, like, instant access to, like, this sphere. They are, these guys are completely free from the, Portuguese oppression. <laughs> so, and the puppets is India. What? India's in the game? Don't tell me they made the little state right here in no. Oh, no, they didn't. Ugh. That was a waste of time and money for both the Indians and for the Portuguese. But anyways, I think with that kind of dear and drilling note, I'll end the episode, and I'll see you guys next time.